big problem facing uh, most of the uh, governments in, in Western Europe and many places in the world is that there is a fundamental shortage of electricity supply, let alone green electricity supply. Um, and this is, of course, leading to huge spikes in pricing and simply difficulty in accessing that power. Uh, now, these are things that have to be addressed, but in the interim, we see things like we have in the past few weeks where uh, electricity prices in the UK went up by 10%, and they've gone up by 25% in the last five years or so across Europe for uh, industrial users. Um, when you add renewables to the mix, of course, it gets even to be a more vexing problem because uh, it takes time, like any generation resource and distribution infrastructure that has to be built alongside it to get it up and running, and of course someone has to pay for it, usually in the form of higher tariffs uh, and or carbon taxes. So these are things that of course need to be addressed immediately, but they will certainly take time to, to really solve and, and get to a, a better equilibrium point. But in the meantime, immediately, what both corporations and governments can do to, uh, to green themselves and their IT is to do uh, the relatively simple thing of shifting the demand or the load on the local traditional electricity grids to jurisdictions that are low cost as well as, uh, as, well as having a high renewable energy mix. That might seem like an impossibility when you think in, in, in a traditional way, but actually you can do something quite innovative, which is to move things like your computer servers, which consume a tremendous amount of power, to a jurisdiction like Iceland. And there's no place like Iceland. It has 100% uh, renewable electricity from three sources, hydroelectric, geothermal, and wind. Yet at the same time, it is extremely low cost. The electricity pricing in Iceland is by far uh, the lowest cost electricity anywhere in Europe and competitive with any place in North America. Um, there, there are other benefits as well that come with this. Uh, uh, among other things, Iceland has an incredibly stable and modern power grid that was really tailor-made for, uh, for power-intensive users like data centers. Uh, and uh, in fact, the World Economic Forum ranks it as the second uh, highest power quality in the world. But the other thing that you can get in Iceland, which you simply can't get anywhere else, which is really causing a lot of problems for corporations and governments, is in most places you'll be lucky to lock in your electricity supply and pricing for two or three years. But in Iceland, uh, you, we have a 20-year power contract with a fixed price schedule. So we know exactly what our pricing is going to be, and we can pass that stability on to people who decide to move their load today to Iceland. So perhaps. Um, from that, it would be great if you could give us maybe an example of, of a, a perhaps a business or organization that has done this shift because, you know, to many it would be quite a bold move to shift their, their data provision from one country to another. Perhaps you could sort of expand a little and give us an example. Sure. So uh, one great example of a company that is thinking outside of the box and taking these steps, which are actually quite easy when you really think about it. It's, I should say that you know, it might be very difficult to take a factory which has hundreds of millions or billions of, of euros invested in the ground and move it to a place like Iceland, but it is quite easy to ship those computer servers from anywhere in the world to Iceland and set up a large server farm and immediately reduce your carbon footprint as well as your cost. But a great example of a, of a customer of ours who's elected to take that step is BMW, the German auto manufacturer. So BMW has taken a large footprint of power and space and services in our data center at Vern in Iceland. And uh, as a result, uh, what they have publicly said is that in a matter of a few brief years, they will simultaneously reduce their carbon footprint by 3,500, 3,500 metric tons, while at the same time reducing their electricity bill by 82%. I'll say that again. They will reduce their electricity bill by 82% compared to their operations in Munich by moving their, their servers to Iceland while at the same time taking their carbon footprint uh, associated with that load from 3,500 metric tons down to zero. Uh, 